Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about something that might be obvious to some, but maybe not for others. So if you already understand this, don't worry about it, but it might still be good to go through this content. So what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about the children nodes of a text type node. So you can see in the previous video, we, we clarified whether something was an element or text. Well, we're going to be talking about this section right here, the text part. So let's clean this off for a minute. Let's just go back to our list. Basically, we're just getting all of the list items in our DOM structure, which looking at our HTML, you can see we have three list items. And that's what we're going to work with. Now, if you go into a career and you want anyone to want to work with you, then you better be checking out our sponsor. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So right now we are working with list items, but what I want to do is I want to just make this real simple for us. And I just want to create one paragraph element. We're just going to put some important information in there. And now we're going to access this from our JavaScript. So we'll just say paragraphs and then we'll just get elements by tag name. And we'll pass in the P we'll console log this bad boy and see we get an HTML collection with one entity, the index zero. Now, the reason I said paragraphs, even though there's one, is because of the type we're working with here. We're working with a collection, it just happens to have only one index. So if you wanna just have paragraph, then what you need to do is you need to grab the first element inside of here and use the zero index for that, which will grab this one right here. Then we need to console log paragraph. And there you go, we have our paragraph right there. One downside to doing this is that this doesn't translate exactly the way I want to look at it inside of the console. It's not an exact representation. So in order to fix that, I'm going to get rid of that and go back to paragraphs. And then we can just traverse the structure that's given. So doing a refresh, now we can expand this paragraph tag and see all of its data. Let me scoot this over just a little bit. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is that this thing has child nodes. And inside of here, one of these is text, which contains important information. So it might be odd to you that a paragraph element has child nodes, which includes this text. It's almost like an extra step because doesn't a paragraph just contain text? Like why do we have to have child nodes? Why is the text its own node? Well, that is just the way it is structured inside of JavaScript, but paragraphs can actually have multiple nodes. So I wanted to show you guys an example of that. Inside of index.html, what we're going to do is we're going to put some stuff inside of this paragraph. For example, we can put a strong element and we'll put important inside of it. This is used to indicate some emphasis on something and often shows up bold. Doing a refresh, you can see important is bold. When we expand this, going into that paragraph, into the child nodes, you can see we now have strong and text. So strong has child nodes as well, which includes the text, which includes important. Going back to the paragraph, we also have the text, which will just contain information. You can see that a paragraph can have child nodes and each section is just one of those nodes. So this section here was one of the child nodes and this section here was one of the child nodes. Another thing you might want to notice is that when we're working with a node that is of a text type, so you can see that in node type being three, it's going to have a property called node value right here, node value information. If we go into a node that's not node type three, it's not going to have that node value. So for example, going into strong, you can see on here, we have node type being one and node value is null. We're going to expand on this in the next video where we're going to differentiate between element nodes and text nodes a little bit more. Then we'll get into modifying the DOM by changing node values and so forth. So it should be a lot of fun. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.